Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Santa's Switch Adapted Toys. I had a request to do this peacock, and uh, we're going to figure out. So it says this spinner here is what activates the toy. Let's see if I can turn it on. What was oh, here we go, on switch. And I'm not sure if this microphone's picking up the speaker, but anyway, we turn this on and spin the dial. And we've got some light and sounds, and, and uh, it starts talking to you, okay? And here's the traditional Linkimals uh, introduction. And then by pressing the uh, feathers out here, you can get the numbers. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to adapt this by not doing anything with the numbers because that would be a multiple set of switches but we're going to adapt it by doing the wheel okay so <clears throat> this particular toy has eight screws in the back i'm going to pull those out set them to the side i usually have a dish here but i've used the dish for something else so we'll see if I can set these in. One of the things with uh, Fisher Price, if you've opened up any of these Linkables, or maybe I don't know about any other toys, but I've done the Linkables a lot. <clears throat> when you open them up, you might discover that they were generous with the glue. And when I first opened this up to kind of just take a look at it, that's what happened. I'll show you that they overdid the glue on one of the locations by the battery pack. And that meant that when I tried to open it, that uh, I was at risk of pulling one of the wires off. And because it was glued in place. So we're opening this up. I'm going to open it just basically the clamshell here. Um... I'm going to remove the feathers. It's got a, a ribbon connector to it here. So you don't take that out. Otherwise, you could have trouble putting it back in. But the glue that I was referring to is if you look at the red wire here, if I can expose that up, the red wire here, this is the battery wire that connects onto the circuit board. And you can see some what looks like damage to it well that's the glue where it was stuck right here so <clears throat> when you opened it up there was almost no room to work to get it out i very gently came into it with a uh, screw with a screwdriver and pried it out of this glue so you end up with a situation like that um be aware that that damage could occur. So where is it that we're going to adapt? The wheel is set on here and the switch that we're looking for is behind it. So we're gonna take the wheel off and set it to the side. There's the switch way down there. And here's my screwdriver, we're gonna Pick the screwdriver and pull that, that wide shoulder screw out of there. Set it with the wheel so that we make sure that when we put the wheel back in, we put the screw the the uh, screw in first. And I'm going to reach way down into here and pull that switch out. Let's see. I'm going to grab it by the switch. I think. It's just set in there, but it's kind of set in there a little bit snug. So, okay. So there's where we're going to do our wiring. So this is similar to the Koala in that uh, it's a switch. Excuse me. It's a switch that's got connection here. It's two wires. You can see where those wires are connected onto that switch. There's three places. They're using two of them. 
And you can also see they stuck some glue on there. It's going to have to get that out of the way to, to do this adapting. I'm going to, let's see, before I insert my solder iron on first, where I'm going to enter my cable, my uh, adapter cable, I'm using a uh, mono cable. It's only got two wires sticking out of it. If you end up using a stereo cable, I'm going to put a link down below that shows how to make a mono cable out of a stereo cable. Let's see, for this purpose, I'm going to drill out right here. Clear any debris out of there and pass my cable back through. A little bit of a burr on the back side where that uh, drill came through. And pass the cable through. And as a cable management, I prefer a knot. I've seen several videos, even today, where people are still using zip ties. I find them unreliable, and I would recommend that you don't do that. It take, it, I mean, this is no cost. You don't have to find anything. You just push it through and put a knot in it, right? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take a uh, my knife here, and I'm going to see if I can't flick that glue out of the way off of there. If it doesn't, if for some reason we end up damaging the wiring, well, we're going to solder it back on anyway, right? But we need that glue gone. All right. So I got rid of the glue. Into the third hand it goes. And my soldering iron is hot. So let's solder these onto that one. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my fan on. I don't know whether that's it distracting or not, but I need to have ventilation here. Yeah. One wire is soldered on. And see how well I do. Oh. Okay. So when I was trying to solder the other wire on, I the uh, factory wire came off the switch. So I've got to put that back on here. All right. Well, you know, you, know, you always want to check the wires to make sure they're solid. A little tug on each wire to in putting the factory wire. Okay, so I got that wired up in there, soldered together. Now we're going to do a test and find out if, okay, so that works. And again, I don't know that the microphone is picking up the volume, but we can see the colors and changing, indicating that we've got activation of that switch. So we're going to pull this Cable back in, manage it in. Get it back here out of the way. Let's find out if I've given myself enough freedom on the cable. If I didn't, then it's easy enough to do. Nope. I think I want a little more wire sticking through there. So we're going to adjust that knot, give us some wire and cable inside. So if that comes around. Okay, let's re reassemble this. Okay. Let's switch those back down into that little socket. And success. Okay. 
that sprue that we took out with the large shoulder on it. Make sure we have all of our wires out of the way. Oops, I think I, I pinched the black wire a little bit. Let's get it aimed right direction here. Yeah, that black wire was there. That's better. All right. Put this in here. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. And that'll hold that switch in for you. Okay. So to reassemble this, pretty simple. Oops. It's going to be a lot simpler and function better if we put this knob back on. Yep, very good. Okay. Line up the peacock feathers. And put the put it back together. Okay. And there it is. That's how you, I mean, we'll put the screws in, but that's um, that's how you adapt the, the peacock so they can be switch adapted. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate your watching. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting another one out here fairly soon. And uh, but you'll get notification when, when I do these switches, these toys. Okay. You have a wonderful day. Bye.